think how many get sick and injured because they can't afford insurance to get treated. So we need full Medicare for all, free choice of doctor and hospital now because 800 people will die every week. That's a Harvard Medical School research uh, study in the Journal of Public Health, December 2009, for anybody who doubts it. The second is, this is the populist moment. We had a populist moment in 1887 when the farmers organized and shifted more power to the people than any other movement before or since. So this is the populist moment. And if you think the American autumn was something, wait until you see the American spring! Because, as you know, there are a lot more nurses where you come from. A lot more to show up, a lot more to stay, a lot more to decentralize their rallies, a lot more to be unionized. So let's hear it for National Nurses United. Now, I think we need some suggestions for a change in language. And the change in language is, it's a speculation sales tax. It's a sales tax on Wall Street speculation. That is bringing down the country on the installment plan. It's also, we've got to talk about things like cooperatives, yes, cooptation, no. Cooperatives, yes, cooptation, no. You've got to use the words corporate crime, not white collar crime. It's a corporate crime wave that's sweeping the country. You've got to use the words law and order, not just regulation. It's law and order for the plutocrats in Wall Street and the oligarchs in Washington, D.C., who serve the plutocrats. Down with the plutocrats. Down with the oligarchs. So, let's get some exciting language here. That's what it's about. Now, a very good sign was when over 200 nurses were at a, a, a teach-in retreat in Santa Cruz, California, to learn about Wall Street speculation and Wall Street sales taxes. We got to make this movement more and more factful. It's got a lot of energy, and some of its legs have got to move on more and more facts. I've, we're putting out this book, Getting Steamed to Overcome Corporatism. 200 examples from the mainstream press on corporate crime that erodes everybody's livelihood and quality of life and future. So we got to mentioned it's not enough to have the facts. You gotta have fire in your belly. The nurses have fire in their belly. That's why they're leading the way. Now one thing about the Occupy movement that's really interesting is they're passing test after test. They're showing they have resilience, they're showing they have stamina, just like you, the nurses. And the more they learn the techniques of open, nonviolent civil disobedience, the more they converse with one another about where this country is heading over the cliff if we don't bring it back, the more they think about their historical pre ancestors who fought the good fight in the 19th century against slavery and for women's right to vote and for farmer and worker equity and fairness, the more they will see themselves as carrying on in this great tradition. It's not enough just to know what's going on now. It's enough to develop a mobilized and highly metabolized trustee toward future generations, your children, your grandchildren. And what we do, what we do now, and what we don't do now, they will receive the results. What we do and what we don't do now. That used to be called posterity by our founding fathers a word we don't hear much anymore. I just gave an interview to uh, the Voice of America and it was the shortest interview I ever had to give because when they asked me the question, I turned around to you and I said, that's the Voice of America! Thank you so much. Thank you.